People tell us every week that our information has helped save their life. If you agree that this is helpful information, please like, share, and most of all, subscribe. Because nothing makes a channel like subscriptions. JMK2921, is it true that NSAIDs like ibuprofen and naproxen make the blood more coagulable and therefore put coronary artery disease patients at higher risk for MACE, which is cardiovascular outcomes? So the answer is in certain situations, yes. You know, uh, Paul Ridker, you may remember that name. I've mentioned him many times in the videos. He was one of the pioneers in understanding this thing about cardiovascular inflammation. He first started seeing it in some old studies called Waskoff's West of Scotland trial, Jupiter, things like that. Basically what they were noticing was that people that were on statins tended to have fewer heart attacks no matter where their LDL level was. Whether it was going up, going down, high or low, they still tended to have fewer heart attacks and they began to say that there's gotta be something else going on there. And sure enough, they started thinking about, well, maybe it's inflammation. Again, if you have any doubts about what cardiovascular inflammation is, it is our body taking friendly fire, our own immune system attacking plaque within our artery wall and damage to the lining of the artery wall. Those are all things that are associated with cardiovascular inflammation. So I've gone down a bunny hole. Let me come back up out of that bunny hole and tell you why I was there. Paul Ridker has gone through and done a lot of studies looking at things like colchicine, uh, several other things that decrease inflammation. One of the things he looked at was the NSAIDs and, you know, Motrin, Naproxen, things like that. And they didn't decrease cardiovascular inflammation at all. So all inflammation is not the same. And when you realize how complicated the immune system is, you begin to realize and not be surprised that some things that are, quote, inflammation may or may not cross over and be part of other types of inflammation. So the answer is no, the insights don't help. And to your other point, many times they've been shown to hurt. Some of the, I can't remember the name right now, I'm sure somebody on the channel can fact check me, a couple of NSAIDs that were taken off the market because of their increased risk for heart attack, cardiovascular disease.